Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I've got the most adorable collection from our friends at Hunky Dory Crafts. This is Moonstone Snippables paper pad and one, two, three, four, five dies in this collection. We have a money saver on this that's fantastic. But here's a special deal, okay? For the first 24 people that order our money saving deal, okay, at paperwishes.com, you will get a free extra cutting die. This is the splashing time cutting die. The reason is we only got 24 of this one. So only 24, so we can't put it in our bundle. So the first 24 will get it free. So stop the video right now, go and order, and then come back and watch it. All right, so come back and play with us. All right, so let's take you through all of these sweet little dies and the paper pad. So for the dies, we have got the Marvelous Wheelbarrow, which is so cute. There's two dies in this one. The Welly Bouquet, which for those of you that are not from the UK, wellies are rain boots. And there's three dies in this one. And then we've got Wishing You Flowers, and there are two dies in this one and a special bouquet, and this one has four dies. And then we've got daffodil, bas daffodil basket, and this one has two dies. Now, as I said in our opening, that the collection comes with, in our, the collection for our money saver comes with these five dies, okay? But there is a sixth die that goes with the paper pad, okay? And that one is a splashing time, two dies in that one, cute little teacup with bunnies in it. However, we only got a few of these, 24 of these, so we can't put them in the money saver bundle for everyone. So the first 24 of you, okay, will get this additional one. We'll get six dies, but only the first 24. So definitely go ahead and order, stop the video right now, Go ahead and order it, and then you can come back and watch all the great cards. Believe me, you're gonna want it. So if only the first 24, and I'll remind you again at the end. So what are snippables? Okay, snippables are little die cut, what they call multiples. There's eight on a sheet that you use the dies, okay, to cut out all of the little snippables, and then all eight of them, then you can snip them with your little scissors and you can create 3D layers. So you can use them individually or you can use them to make fantastic layers. So let's take a look what's in here. I'm gonna show you all about it. Oh, I got these upside down. So we've got the sweet little wheelbarrows. Now these come in several different colors, okay? You actually get 48 of these sheets. So it's gonna make 48 cards. And that's just if you use eight layers on each card. You could use less layers on each card and get, I don't know, like you could get twice as many. They're very, very cute. There we go, little girls. I'm gonna show you all of these on cards. This is the one that you do not get a die. The first 24 of you that order the money saver will get this die, okay? However, if you don't get the die, don't worry about it. You can still make the cards, all right? I just took my little scissors and I spent like, I don't know, a minute and a half and I cut it out. So don't worry, you can still, you can still use these. Okay, so cute. Look at these beautiful flowers. There are those little welly rain boots. And then you get background papers for your cards. Beautiful, all right. So let me tell you how these work. Let's find the ones with the wellies. Here we go. Let me take this out. First of all, I should tell you, I was very, very, very impressed at how well Hunky Dory gets these dies to fit on the images. I was very impressed. Um, not all manufacturers do as well. And they did such a great job. All of these dies line up beautifully. All right, so you're gonna take, I guess it doesn't matter, you're gonna take your page here, you're gonna take your die, and you just, first of all, I cut, cut them out. I just took my scissors, and I loosely cut around them. Let me show you how I cut around them. All right, I went just like this, and you could even do two at a time if you don't want to, um, do it like that. So you could do it like this, cut them out, then you're gonna place them right like that. They fit, 
there's a, a large, what you would call a bleed around each of the images. Okay, let's zoom in really close on this, Steve. So there's a really large bleed that goes around. So it's very forgiving when you're placing your dye. You just wanna place it so that you don't see color around the outside edge, okay? And then you're just gonna take your low tack tape this is really important because when you're putting it through your machine, and I like to kind of remove some of that sticky. When you're putting it through your machine, you really want it to stay in place. You're just gonna put one right there, right there. Run that through your machine, and you're just gonna get a really beautiful cutout image. I have lots of them cut out, so I'm gonna show you. And then just go ahead and place it and cut out the other one. You're gonna do that eight times. It really doesn't take long at all, okay? I did this. Um, one afternoon at home and um, just hurry up and die cut all eight images and then I could just sit there and listen to my podcast or watch my TV show and cut them out. So let's start with our wellies. Here we go. All right, so here's a card that I did using that welly image. There's just one layer there. All right, so I'm gonna show you how you can use it that's just a whole card, one layer with some foam tape under it. If I did this, I could make eight cards from one sheet, okay? It's already got the greeting there. The greetings, you just do the same thing. You just take the little die cut greeting and you just lay that right over that kind of smudgy looking thing and then it die cuts out this beautiful greeting. All right, so with this one, I took some of the patterned paper. Let me find which one I used. All right, I took this sheet of patterned paper and I glued it so that there was a little bit from this side, because there's a nice little seam. I glued probably, I don't know, an inch and a quarter from this side and then used the rest here. So I just took it and put it on my five by six and a half inch card and I glued it like that. And then I turned my card over and just trimmed around the edges. So that's how I covered that particular card. Then I took some beautiful fancy border dazzle stickers and these have beautiful, beautiful borders. And I took the one that's in this really pearlescent green and find it on here and put those down the side of the card. I'm not sure. Oh, here it is. That one. All right. And I put those just a double layer of those right there and then foam taped my little welly bouquet, just like that. Now, if I wanna do another layer, okay, inside my packaging, this is very important. I should have had this out and ready to go. Oh, the tape is being stubborn, there we go. So inside the package, it has a cutting guide. All right, so you can take, here's the first, it says base. First of all, there's instructions here. That's the base layer, that's what I've got right here. Then for the second layer, it shows you in red where to cut away, all right? And I would recommend tiny's tiny little scissors are very helpful, okay? So you're going to cut away each and every one of those layers, there's a little guide. It goes very quickly, very fun to do, okay? I did something a little bit different. On this card, I just wanted to use one layer. I just wanted that bouquet right there on the top to have an extra layer. So for that one, I just went to this guide right here. I didn't do the part with the boot. I just did that right there. So I'm sort of customizing it on my own. Okay, so we've got foam tape on the back. There's a couple of options for foam tape. You can use these little pre-cut squares of foam tape, okay? So you don't have to cut them. There's 400 on here, by the way. Or you can use this giant roll of foam tape and you will never ever run out while you're doing this. That's what I did. I have a giant roll at home. So I just cut them into little pieces. And I should mention, um, cutting them into little pieces is not nearly as tedious as it sounds. Now I should mention for you that are new to die cutting, you do need a die cutting machine to use this Snippables product. All right, so I just take mine, my little length there, and I just go one, two, I just cut them in like that, and then I just cut it like that. And then I've got three little pieces. Very, very simple. And now I have to get them off my scissors. 
there we go. All right, so now that I've got that all done, now I can just take this layer and I can just put it right there. And it's got two layers on it. So very, very simple to do. All right, so let's move on to this next one. Okay, this one is the little basket here. So cute. Yeah, this is daffodil basket. This one I used all eight layers. And you can see some of the layers are just like this tiny little center of the flowers, okay? Very cute. And the coordinating paper for this right here came from the paper pad. I did, however, use my own cardstock. All right, and this one, um, this one is beautiful little slim line card that's three and a half by eight and a half inches. And this one is a sp special, a special bouquet all eight layers on there and for this one covered the card with the pattern paper that came in the pad and then I just put a couple of little thin line dazzle stickers there these are the pearl and pastel or pastel and pearl um, use that one right there oh and there we've got the cute little wheelbarrow this is the marvelous wheelbarrow this is six and a half by five inches. For this one, I just took some solid cardstock, glued it just on the edges there, okay? And then for the paper, this is the paper that came from the paper pad. I just glued it just like that, okay? Actually, no, that's not true. I glued it like this, so that it was about a half inch from the bottom edge of the card, and I'll tell you why. Then. I took the opposite end, this border, and I cut it out and I put layer of foam tape on it so that it's three dimensional. And that way when I finished my wheelbarrow, I could just sort of tuck it down in there so it looks like it's kind of sitting among the flowers. And then just did another one of those little thin line stickers that I just showed you and then glued the greeting there. So when you're cutting out this border, once again, tiny scissors are your friend with this craft. And I just went like this, and as you'll see, I am turning the paper and not the scissors. Scissors are staying in the same angle, and you just are quickly turning the paper. I find that that is the fastest way to go. And you also get really nice clean lines with that. So once I cut that out, I just put a couple of lengths from that foam tape roll on the back, and then just plunk right down so that it, the bottom was like a little more even with the card. All right, and then I should show you, when you are cutting out the layers, if you turn this over, you can see there's, there's die lines on there where they're really partially already cut, all right? So when you're taking your scissors and you're following along with this die, with the cutting on here, I'm gonna open this up. All right, so the first one you just leave like this. And for the second one, you're doing little things like cutting away. Now you could do it to match this right here where it's the same as the front, going in the same direction. You could cut it like this. But I found it was easier to just turn it over. And you'll see it's wanting me to cut this little leaf off right here, but that's already kind of it's all die cut, so really I'm just cutting away the little tabs that are holding that in place. And if you turn it over, I found that the cutting is more accurate and it's much easier to do. All right, and then you move on to another layer and then you're cutting, darn it, I cut the wrong layer, Lene. Base, second layer. <laughs> so sorry, everybody. The second layer is actually, I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. The second layer, you're cutting more away from it. I think it's because I want to read, I want to read from left to right on this guide. So remember, don't do what I do. It's this way, one, one, two, three, four, like that. So it's not left to right. All right, so you could just take this then, you can just turn it over and you can cut away the pieces much ease, more easily if you're just turning it over. The image is reversed, but it's really not, difficult to figure out like which one you're cutting. 
So I'm cutting this piece away right here. All right, and then we're moving down here and it's wanting us to cut away See, you're just kind of cutting away the front of the wheelbarrow, but not the wheel. Like that. And then it's going to have you cut away some other elements right there. And then as you build, you're just going to build those layers up. It's really interesting to do. All right. There we go, so that's that one. Now for my last one, I'm going to do this beautiful bouquet. This one is um, Wishing You Flowers, and it's this beautiful arched, oops, this arched flower, like a, like a spray of flowers. All right, and this is what it looks like right here. All those pieces. It looks a little intimidating, but it is not. It is really fun to put together. So let me grab, okay, I found it. So this is the wishing you flowers and then inside, I should mention that before I was saying how I wanted to, to read the patterns from left to right. And on this one, it does, it goes base one, two, three. On the other one, it went, went uh, vertically. So pay attention to your patterns when you're cutting and you won't have any problem. Um, so here we go, I have gone ahead and covered, this is a, si a center step card, okay? These come in packages of five, already die cut and pre-folded. They're from Hot Off The Press. You can get them here at Paper Wishes exclusively. And we also have it in a cutting die. So I forgot to grab both of those, so I'll link those um, down below our video um, on our webisode page um, under the products used. So if you wanna check those out. So I've covered it with a pattern that is in the paper pad. And then I've also added some dazzle stickers from those fancy border dazzles that we looked at before in the pink, so pretty. And went ahead and I added the greeting first just to kind of save that step. Um, so we're gonna take the layers here, right here from the little card, and I'm just going to start placing them. And I thought instead of using it like this, I'm gonna use it as a crescent, just like that just to be different, there we go. So that's the first layer. And then on the second layer, we followed the guide for cutting, cut off a few more things. I've got my foam tape on the back here. And I'm just layering that, kind of choosing a couple of areas just to square it up. So I'm gonna use those leaves as my guide. Okay, here's the next layer. See, cut way down. And as I said, the guides just make that so simple. This is another piece from that layer that the guide shows you. Okay, we're right here. Here we go. And then the next layer, we're right here, layer three. Oops, there we go. And then, oh, I forgot some flowers. There we go. These are also from layer three. Okay. Go. And then this last layer right here, I actually combined these two. This one is just the center of the flower. And I've gone ahead and put that right here on the center of this one just to save a step. All right, and then the last part is wanting you to place even more of these little flowers. Sometimes you just gotta kinda turn it to find the direction that you're going with the flower. One. And that one right there. There you go, look at all those layers. Yeah, so pretty, and then you can also take some of the layers that were left over, okay, like this one right here, and I can just sort of trim off that leaf, and then put a little bit more foam tape right here, 
And then you can just add that, like right there. And that just kind of gives you a nice balanced card. So you guys, great, great money saver on all of these cards. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, for the first 24 people that order the money saver, maybe we can zoom out, Steve. Now the money saver is located, if you're watching us on our webisode page, it's right over there on the right-hand side. The deal is only um, the special additional die, this one, is only available for the first 24 people, okay? So if you don't get it in your order, you weren't the first 24 people, okay? So uh, you can also buy these individually. So look down below the video and the products used if you just want to go with a paper pad and a one or two dies. As I said, you can still cut them out with using your little scissors. I think that the little scissors are extremely important. Um, also, your uh, low-tack tape is really necessary, and of course, the foam tape of your choice. So thanks for joining me today, everybody, and I'll see you next time.